G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we're going to create a small Fire Deck application. And let's start with a Windows VCL, VCL application, as I typically do. And we want to add a, an FD connection. And I am going to call this uh, Con Northwind. Uh, no guesses as to what database I'll be using. But I'm going to set it, the driver to be SQLite. So we're going to create an SQLite database. Now, to execute a query, I'm going to add a FD query. So in the, in the fire deck, and I... Well, let's, let's, let's call this um, reset, reset database. And so this is uh, connected to Northwind. Now, I also want to set some connection properties on here. So I'm going to turn off the sharing mode exclusive because um, that only really allows one application to talk to the database at once. And okay, we'll call it my Northwind DB DB. And we should at this point be able to test that. And success. Now we don't need a login prompt, so let's turn that off. And now, uh, load up Notepad++ with, so here we have a bunch of SQL for creating a bunch of tables and inserting into, into the database. And so I'm just going to copy that and paste it into here. And I'm going to execute it from here. And that's created our database. So we've created a bunch of, you know, drop these tables if they exist and then created a whole bunch of um or well, recreated them so that's our, our database reset uh or if uh query customers and that's connected to our connection in fact let's let's add oops Star from customers, and we can execute that, and that has indeed been successful. On the just as a as a note, um, this is originally uh, text rather than varchar, and the, while SQLite only has a very small number of field types, and the only string type is text, you can specify uh, in this instance use varchar, and it adds some metadata around it. I'm not sure how it works, but if you specify text, you'll just end up with um, wide memos rather than just string fields, which is problematic for um, if you want to put stuff in a grid, which is what we're going to do. We need a data source. Uh, what, DS customers, and we'll connect it to query customers. DB grid. Again, call it customers, and I'm going to line that client. And we can talk up the, the data source. And at this point, I should be able to say, let's put some SQL in here. Okay, yep, we got that. And set active to true. And there we have our data. So that's the Northwind customers table. Uh, from here, I'm just going to go uh, right click and go fields editor and add all fields. Uh, ignore. This is this part of CNPAC, which is the automated naming. Uh, and I'm just going to make the display width on these 30. And as a hint, um, you, I could edit this grid. Like I can double click on it. Yes, and I can add fields and stuff there and customize what I'm displaying. But you can also do it in the data set, and that's often a better way of doing it if you're displaying stuff in multiple places. So I'm just going to make the customer ID invisible in this case. Okay, so we now have a customers. Well, we can view our customers. We might want to, and we might possibly want to search our customers. We'll just search based on the customer name, for instance. And I am going to put a panel on. I'm going to uncreatively call that panel top and align that to top. Um, 
I want to turn off show caption and I quite like removing the bevels. Uh, so change that from raised to none. Um, edit. Hit search. And throw a button. Button search. So uh, I quite I quite like to align align my controls. So if I but edits are always a I find a bit problematic because it's aligned it like that. So I turn on align with margins and I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller and go to the margins uh, top. Try five and bottom five. No, six. Okay, that looks a bit better. And then I can align this left as well. Oh, and I'll turn on the uh, align with margins. On that one as well. I like to use alignment where possible. It just means that uh, if I click on that and move it slightly at, at um, design time, it's not going to break the user interface. Um, I've, this is so often when you double click on it to add an event or something like that, you often move it a few pixels. And in here, I am going to really uncreatively go. Uh, let's go customer name. And in here, I need to specify, I can specify an array of parameters. This is much much easier or much uh, more concise than using the whole param by name and what have you uh, syntax. And so I want to say edt, call it edit, didn't I? Yeah, edt search.txt. Yeah. Now, I also want to add little percent signs around that so it uh, plus. Close the open, semicolon. Okay, and I think that might work. So let's run that. There we go. Uh, very, very basic SQLite application. So very, very easy to build an SQLite based database application in Delphi with FireDAC because FireDAC is based around SQLite internally, uh, which means it's super robust and reliable. Uh, FireDAC is fantastic. If you're building a new database application, then do use FireDAC because it is just incredibly powerful and you can do so much with it. Um, I can't recommend it enough. Pretty much any any new application I make that requires connecting to some sort of database, or even possibly not even connecting to a database because you can use the FDMEM table um, but that's all I want to show in this video. It's just there's not a lot to this. We we could of course expand on this and do all sorts of uh, interesting things. But thanks for watching. Uh, do check out my website for my books. So go to learndelphi.tv and grab a copy of Code Faster in Delphi or Code Better in Delphi or better yet, get both. And I'll see you in the next video. I also might see you at the ADAG Symposium on the seventeenth of May. Well, that's let's open up a browser. We want to go to adag.org.au. I should know. Here we go. 17th of May. So I think I, if we have a look, um, am I the, yes, I think I'm the second speaker. So there's a uh, schedule. So I'll be talking at 10.45 a.m. Um, in Melbourne time. So, uh, Let's say she might be on the 18th for you, uh, <laughs> depending on where in the world you live. Uh, or it's some horrible time in the morning. But uh, if you live in an appropriate and in, live in an appropriate time zone, uh, do come and attend. Uh, it's it's great fun. And if you're in sort of the Asia Pacific area, do join ADAG. It's it's, it's definitely um, worthwhile. And the ADAG team do a fantastic job to support the Delphi community. So it's an easy way of supporting the community just by um, joining and kind of uh, I don't know lurking in the um, the forums and things like that. So, or, or attending meetings, you can uh, attend virtually 
too many of them. Anyway, uh, enough rambling. I'm Alistair Christie. I'll catch you in the next video. Um, thanks for watching.